I'm Kirk Harnack. Let's talk for a minute about planning and having a good foundation. Well, this driveway is a pretty good example. We had plenty of snow here, the biggest snow we've had in 13 years here in Nashville, Tennessee. Tied for the 12th biggest snow ever here in Nashville. Now I know, other parts of the country, you get this kind of snow all the time, but it's kind of a big deal around here. And we're not equipped. Do I have a snow blower? No, because we only get this kind of snow once every 12 years, and the thing would sit in the garage and rot between times that I would use it. So what do we do? Well, I knew that my wife had to get to work on Monday morning. And so we uh, paid a couple guys to come out here with shovels. I got some ice melt very opportunistically uh, at Home Depot before they were sold out and uh, got the thing scraped off, sh shoveled and, and ice melt put on it. Same thing with the, uh, the little private road that goes out there. There's six houses that share the private road out there and one of the homeowners uh, and I really try to keep the road going. Well, that's, that's good planning, right? There are plenty of people in our neighborhood across the way there who are going to be totally stuck in their homes. They, uh, they won't be able to get out Monday morning. And we knew we had to, so made arrangements to be able to do that. How about your radio station? Are you making plans there for the future? Are you planning to have an infrastructure that you can build upon? Well, of course, I've got to put in a good word for Axia and Livewire, audio over IP. That is the infrastructure that you ought to be interested in because that you can build on. It's not a just a shot in the dark. It's not a flash in the pan. It's a technology that you'll be using for many, many years to come. Audio over IP. And now with the uh, introduction of AES 67, a year and a half ago now, my goodness, all kinds of devices are going to be coming out, some already have, that are AES 67 compliant or compatible, and uh, microphones, speakers, um, routing switchers, uh, just all kinds of audio devices, interfaces, uh, uh, cards that manufacturers can put into their products, software drivers that run on products that are running an operating system, the list goes on and on. Audio over IP, baby, that is where it's at. And Livewire invented AOIP for broadcasters uh, with low latency and GPIO, plenty of control throughout the whole system. That's why I encourage you to build your radio station or rebuild it on a firm foundation. In the long run, even in the short run, you're going to save money and have a foundation that you can rely upon and build upon for years and years to come easy to make additions or subtractions from that as our industry changes and studios either get shut down or built or moved or connected across town. Audio over IP makes all that possible. Check it out if you would at telusalliance.com. I'm Kirk Harnack for the Telus Alliance.